Good day, Chief here for Bespoke Post. Uh, went to the mailbox this morning because I go to the mailbox every morning when I walk my dog in the morning. Gives me something to do so I get yesterday's mail. Uh, for once, I didn't pay attention to the symbol down there because we've seen that symbol a few times. I didn't read the label except to see that made sure it was addressed to me so I didn't read up in the upper corner that it was Bespoke Post. Uh, this is the legacy box. It is the clock built like a instrument from a older aircraft. And the reason I got this one is because one, I like the aspect of getting a clock. The card about it is at the bottom underneath this. <clears throat> so, oh, we even get a little oh instructions. So I got the legacy, as I said. Oh, let's see. A piece of history that fits on your mantle. I wish I had a mantle. I do have a fireplace, but I don't have a mantle. I haven't built one yet. Uh, this clock was designed by your friends at Penelux, who were inspired by the World War II pilot's instruments. Their attention to detail and dedication to the craft comes through the robust cast aluminum and brass construction. And the dial components are even designed to replicate parts from the authentic 1940s altimeter. Wherever you choose to display this on a bookshelf, side table, or desk, it will bring a touch of vintage style. Uh, just says in the box altimeter table clock by Penelux. I don't wear watches. I have pocket watches, but out of the pocket watches that I do have only one works anymore and it's one that my mom purchased me back in 1976 uh, of course being in the military I always had to have watch on so at the end of my career which ended uh, the last day of the year in 2013 but I had accumulated enough leave that actually I was no longer on going to work at the end of November. I came home, spent the month of December getting my house ready for my household goods coming from Georgia to uh, Texas where I live. This, thing's, this thing is hefty, which is nice, so I'm not going to easily knock it over. So in the middle we have uh, 10,000 feet altitude. We got 0, 10, 20, 30 to re that represent the 30,000 feet. Uh, Penelux, registered U.S. <coughs> Excuse me. Registered U.S. Patent Office and Millibars. Hmm. So, there's no stamp on it to say made in America or, or made in anywhere. So I hopefully presume and assume that it's made in America. Now the reason I quit wearing a watch is because I retired, I didn't go back to work, and I had a clock over my mantle, or where a mantle would be on my fireplace, and it was a uh, clock that I picked up in Germany. And even though it was a battery operated clock one day, not due to the battery dying, it just stopped working. So, for the longest time, the only clocks I had were on my microwave, on my stove, on my uh, clock radio that I have downstairs, on my coffee pot. So, four, four clocks in one room in my kitchen. And then I have a um, cl uh, radio, clock radio that I've had about the latter half of my military career. It still functions. And I have only think I've only set the alarm twice. I know I'm going off on clocks and watches, but I do wear a watch when I do go on vacation because, you know, sometimes you have to be at a certain place at a certain time, especially inside of a uh, airport or whatever, but most of the time when I even wear a watch on my wrist, I don't like it anymore, so I take it off and sit in my pocket, and, <clears throat> and my pocket watch is too, <clears throat> too mem memorable for me to take on a vacation and get it stolen or robbed from me. So I'll have to look at the instructions. Looks like we only have one knob down here at the bottom that actually operates the system. I mean it looks nice. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It does look like it came off of an instrument panel of a ship, or not a ship, but of an aircraft. Uh, I'm happy with it. Who knows? Maybe I'll get another one later on. Maybe I'll get one for a gift. Like I said, uh, the spoke... <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Tickle in my throat today. I don't know why. I mean, I was okay before the video started. And now I'm drooling a little bit. A little bit of spittle. Uh... <clears throat> I've been using bespoke posts to get some Christmas gifts and sometimes other gifts. So, like I said, you know, hey, occasionally these things work. Uh, I do like it's going to sit at an angle. As you can see, it's got the bar down here to help protect your uh, operating knob. I like it. We'll see what I say next month. <laughs> Good thing there's no alarm in this. I don't know if you can hear that. That's aluminum and brass. Something else to take care of brass-wise. Ah, no big deal. Well, <clears throat> this is Chief for my August Bespoke Post box. I got the Legacy, which was the featured item, so I did not opt out this month. And I got myself a nice-looking clock. Like I said, we'll see how well it works. And I really don't see if anything it detaches at the back, so maybe it is manual wind up all the time. We'll see. So this is Chief out. Remember, freedom's not free. Thank you very much.